how to waterproof your receiver in the simplest way by using spray pin. I'm using the clear spray pin, which is actually very cheap. Actually, it's about seven ringgit and can find it in any hardware store. Okay, first of all, you have to bind this receiver first to see whether this receiver is working or not. Okay, before you want to profit. Okay, I already connect my ESC servo and model and also the power supply which is battery. So let's see whether this thing is working. Okay. The servo is okay. And also the motor is running. So this thing is okay. Second step is you have to open the cover. So this is how it looks from the inside. Okay, the next step we will spray this receiver with clear paint. So we will let it dry for about one hour and then make a second coat. Okay, the first layer of the clear coat is already dry and we can proceed to the second layer and this time we have to spray and cover all of this component so it will be covered with paint and it can be waterproof. Okay. and let it dry for about one hour okay this is the result after the second layer as you can see uh, most of its surface is covered with the paint okay and now we can proceed to the third layer the final coat so all of this uh, electronic part here we have to cover it with the last layer okay. it's covered with the paint so to make sure it is waterproof okay So let it dry again. So this is the result after the third layer of paint. As you can see, there's a layer of clear paint on top of it. Okay. Okay. So the next step is we use knife, a hobby knife, and scrap all of this terminal to remove the uh, clear paint on the terminal okay so all of this terminal we have to scrape to remove the clear paint okay so that all of the terminal have been scraped by using this knife so I'm gonna clean it a bit okay so let us test again ESC and the servo. Okay. Okay. It's working. It's working after the waterproofing. So it can be tested in the water to see whether it is waterproof or not.
Okay, the moment of truth. So, it's water. Take it all. So, the servo is working. Also, the motor. As you can see, it's a bit deep into the water. Okay. And it's still working. There you go. You got a waterproof receiver. Thanks for watching.